Hello friends, good evening and welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's begin our analysis for Nifty and Bank Nifty for tomorrow. So guys, if you remember, uh, yesterday we had discussed that, you know, post a candle, uh, which was an, uh, a confusing candle or a doji sort of a candle or an indecision candle, I had told you there are two possibilities one is uh, another similar sort of a candle okay or i said if market gaps up there is a possibility of a morning star like pattern but uh, we did not gap up so exactly uh, the first thought that we had market has made a similar sort of a candle and also we discussed that we'll see some volatility and uh, i hope everyone observed that so the market was completely volatile today. Uh, if you look at the five minutes chart for both Nifty and Bank Nifty, you know, so Bank Nifty, look at the first candle. It made a significant high. It came to the low and then immediately it came to the lowest point. Then immediately it went back up. So whenever you see a bigger candle with both side wicks, that indicates that there is a huge volatility around in the market. And similarly, if you look at Nifty, see, how can you uh, determine a price action here? You know, when we talk about price action, we normally talk about formation of higher highs and uh, or maybe lower highs or something like that. But here, if you see, uh, we had a high here, then we had a lower high, then we again uh, breached this high and went up and then again came back to the same level. So the market was hugely volatile today. So what is going to be our action plan for tomorrow and what is the data suggesting is something that we are going to check now. So let's quickly check out the participant wise open interest. And the data uh, looks surprising to me. Uh, so avoid this where it says bullish because the number of call longs is more than the number of put long hence it says bullish <clears throat> but otherwise this is a kind of a market which I hate okay so if I have bought 43,000 call options and 40,000 put options so whenever you see uh, buying from these institutions that means market is going to be volatile even tomorrow. Because tomorrow being an expiry day, just imagine uh, the premiums are <clears throat> as it is going to drop. So for them to book their profits, you know, in their put option, the market has to come down heavily. And similarly, if they have to book their call options, the market has to rise upwards uh, in a significant manner. So I was expecting a trending sort of an expiry tomorrow, but uh, looking at their position, uh, it doesn't seem so. Okay, now let's quickly check out pros position. So 48,000 call sell, a good amount. That means they are not expecting the market to rise definitely. Uh, so when I say they are not expecting the market to rise definitely, that means uh, they're not expecting a significant movement upside. And they also have put longs. So this and this is similar. So that means uh, they're definitely going to make profits tomorrow uh, because one part of the position is definitely based on FIS position. And also uh, this is completely a bearish position because they also have call set. So looking at the data, uh, the market is going to be sideways and volatile with some uh, downside pressure so there is a possibility so let's see uh, what the option chain says let me just quickly go through the option chain so I'm showing you bank nifty option chain on my chart uh, the reason is uh, I just wanted to show you all that the ATM uh, IV has increased and hence look at the daily range the daily range it says it is around 1100 points you know what could be the low and high for tomorrow the low could be around 36 to 30 and the high could be around 37 350 
okay uh, i understand you may not be able to clearly watch this but uh, so this is what uh, the iv suggests what could be the range for tomorrow so definitely the volatility is going to increase and now if we come and quickly check the change in open interest today so see uh, if you look at the change in open interest we have seen call writers exiting the positions uh, towards the itm and put writers have also exited their positions towards itm so right now what the situation is uh definitely the call writing was more than the put writing uh, that is seen today because initially in the first half put writing was too much okay and the market uh, sustained if you checked out bank nifty bank nifty was completely in green throughout the day but in the second half around uh, post 240 245 we saw some huge selling from the fis so hence the data changed completely and we have call writers more and if we look at the volumes the highest volumes for call and put is on 37000 so looks like fis might have bought 37000 call and put as well so in case if they if the market gaps up due to any good news from fed meet then they'll book the profits in their call options and in case market gaps down because of any bad news from the fed meet uh, they'll book their profits in the put options and then they'll take the market a little higher so that they can book their calls too so uh, looks like a range bound market with volatility so 37000 looks like a resistance as of now and 36500 looks like a good support uh so we have support on the downside and resistances on the upside uh, but the support isn't that strong like the resistances that we have here now if we have to check out nifty uh nifty i did not open my excel sheet so let's quickly check this out in opstra okay so this is my opstra get started okay mm, yeah login just a moment yeah so now we'll go to the open interest okay so if we look at the open interest uh, put side isn't that strong because uh, in the second half market came down heavily and some from 17300 we have very strong resistances above okay so definitely like we discussed pros have a good amount of call sell so they're not expecting market to go up and since we do not have much of a support downside so there is always a pressure that can build towards the downside so tomorrow when so like whenever the market is going to be volatile or in a range it is always better you keep uh, an eye on the option chain throughout the day uh, because it's an expiry day market can be confusing a little uh, because of the premium decay we may incur losses so it is always better you trade on the next week options and i just also noticed one thing so if you look at the 23rd december that is the next week option chain uh, here the put looks stronger around 17200 and 17000 and also if you look at the monthly option chain 17000 looks strong and here if you see the resistances are not that much okay so which so which uh, says that uh, the possible downfall or the possible bearishness is only limited to this week okay so this is the overall picture of the option chain so now let's quickly check out the price action and see what should be a plan for tomorrow so the first thing as we discussed that the market can be sideways and volatile so for that we need a range so that uh, we trade between them so this is the case so today uh, nifty definitely trapped because it broke the 
PDL and it came down, then it showed a bounce, again it broke, then it went up significantly, then again it broke and have come down. So let's shift this line a little lower. Okay, so now it looks like in a range. So tomorrow in case if we open gap up, okay, and as far as we are staying below 17,400, then there is nothing uh, wrong. But just in case, uh, so this is something which we're discussing based on price action. So we have seen heavy selling from 17,300. So this is going to be a resistance. So imagine if we open gap up somewhere around uh, 17,250, 280, and you know we immediately break this high. So we'll not take a position here because that can be dangerous. And what we'll do is in case if it goes and touches this area, then this is a good place to buy a put option. Second, where are we supposed to buy put option is just imagine that we are opening slightly gap up. And in some case, it is just traveling upside. So this is going to be a resistance area. So here also, if you see a negative candle and thing like this, you can buy a put option. Your SL should be small, somewhere around 20 to 25 points. Then we can again see a downfall to this place. Okay. In case if we open flat and if we break this immediately, then your target should be somewhere close to 17,000. So this is the first place where you can book your targets, uh, which is around 17,150. And the next target is 17,080. So we can see a downfall until this place and then the market may come up or then it will be difficult for the market to cross this level. So what they can do is they can average their calls here and they may take it to day high and book it. Okay. And what if market opens gap down? So if we open slightly gap down, you just have to wait. Okay. What they'll do is they'll immediately take the market down. And somewhere around this place, if you see that it is taking support, you can definitely opt for a call buy or the best place to buy the call is from where it opens if it surpasses it uh, within 10 30 then also you can buy a call option here so this should be our plan for nifty so since the market is going to be volatile we need a place for a put buy we need a place for a call buy so that's how we have planned now let's quickly check out bank nifty so bank nifty is still trying to hold the range okay uh, so what is the range oh it looks like i have deleted it okay so this is the range that i'm talking about let me just draw it parallel channel so we we'll draw it from here Uh, sometimes to draw the line on trading view it becomes a little difficult okay so this is the range i'm talking about so somehow bank of t is still trying not to enter this area uh, the only reason being if we discussed earlier like if we enter this area then market will be hugely volatile Okay, so if you look at the previous day, we opened gap down, but immediately recovered and closed above. Today, we have just entered into this area. So what should be our plan for tomorrow? In case if we open flat, let's change it to five minutes. Okay, so in case if we open flat and immediately break this low okay so we are opening here and if we are breaking this your immediate target would be somewhere around uh, this low which is close to 36 550 okay 
so i'm not expecting further fall from here so it is recommended to book your profits here and similarly if you open gap up by any chance and if the market is moving higher and this is a resistance close to 37000 to 37050 so if we cross 37050 we may see an immediate rally up to say 37 250 to 37 300 so this is one of the place where you can buy a call option just in case but for that we need to have a good gap up say like uh, close to 37 900 we need a gap up and then it should immediately break it then we can expect some up move uh in case if we open gap down around say 36 600 then uh we'll have to wait for the price action because uh since they are holding a lot of put long they'll try and book it so in case if we uh see market going upside like this and then forming a higher low and then breaching this high definitely you can buy a call option here okay and your immediate target would be uh somewhere around 37000 in this case so we'll be buying around 36800 and we'll be booking it around 37000 so market is definitely going to be hugely volatile tomorrow so be careful uh so that's it from my end so uh, i'm holding uh, a couple of positions so just wanted to show you all uh, one of the positions is uh, the straddle that i'm still holding because uh, you know that i had a straddle at 37000 and if we look at that straddle let me just show you all okay cool so if you look at that straddle uh, now i do not have any issues in this straddle because wherever the market goes i'm going to make money see so right now we are here so if you see if the market goes below so my entire uh, payoff chart is in green color so if the market goes down i'm definitely going to make 9500 which is around 10% of the capital that i have invested i have invested around 98000 so similarly on the upside if the market goes anywhere i'm going to make 9500 for sure and in case if it closes around 37000 then i can get a max profit of around 24000 and this look at the probability of profit it is almost 100% because there is no loss uh, technically in this positions and i have also taken another position for tomorrow's expiry so that is also again a neutral position uh, that is a strangle basically uh, so what is a strangle so I've put a strangle on okay okay let's move down so i have sold 37 200 call and 36 600 put okay so for for me the range is going to be uh, somewhere between 36 500 to 37 350 but this can be a little dangerous if uh, looking at the moves but uh, i think i should be able to manage it intraday so let's see how it works i'll definitely share uh, what happened to this position tomorrow okay so thank you for watching uh, i'm sure a lot of people are liking the kind of videos and the knowledge that i'm sharing uh, so my request for you all is to spread this channel you know to your friends and family so that whoever is interested in trading Uh, can get a very good channel from where they can learn all of these and once we have a good number of people i think i'll start posting uh, videos on some technical analysis uh, data analysis then how do we do intraday trading how do we do positional trading all sort of videos we can line it up uh, so please please share this videos with others like the videos put your comments because your comments does matter to me and i've seen uh, we have a lot of people on uh, youtube channel but uh, a lot of people have not uh, 
come into the telegram channel so please join the telegram channel i definitely share a lot of information there so today i have shared some information on participant wise open interest so how do you actually analyze it and uh, what are the key things that you need to look for so i think definitely a lot of people liked it so uh, please join the channel and take the benefit of it thank you for watching let's meet uh, tomorrow again thank you take care bye bye